Hey guys, just a quick disclaimer before this episode starts. In this video we'll be modifying a through hull to suit the new Irmar transducer that we got. This is not recommended by Irmar at all, so please do some research or seek advice from a professional before trying this yourself. Thanks for watching. As I may have mentioned before, we're putting in some NMEA network stuff for chart plotter radio and things like that so we've we also got a new um speed speed log so we're replacing this but we've got one that does depth and speed through water so it's not a case of just removing this and putting a new one in this is the skin fitting for that this is the skin fitting for that and it's quite a lot larger so I'm going to have to um, use a hole saw to widen this hole um, and remove this. The only thing is with it being a depth transducer as well, we're going to have to offset the skin fitting so that it's pointing more downwards and not off at an angle. So I'm going to have to work out how to do that, work out the angle and how I'll make this flush with the hull of the boat. So that's that's the next project we're going to do. And then once that's done, the bottom will be ready for um, just a bit of primer on the repair and some a fresh like Avanti food. And that will be the bottom done and we'll move up then to do the, the projects um, inside the boat and up on the deck. So the first thing we had to do with this project was get access to the paddle wheel from inside the boat and to do that we had to dismantle this um, cupboard in the V-berth which was a bit of a pain but we got there and we were able to get the old paddle wheel out. So I'm unscrewing the through hole for the speed log. You can see it there. And the size up to see what we needed to do to get the new skin fitting in that would allow us to mount our new uh, triducer. Yes! Now how do I make it go round again? Just go back? Yeah, this is off now. How was that? Crazy peasy. Crazy it helps peasy. that I. Are a contortionist? Can fit in the little space. Well done. But it's off the good stuff. <laughs> Happy days. So what I've got going on this afternoon is tidying up around the the old through hole hole. So I'm gonna clear away the old paint and stuff and try and sand it back then to the fiberglass both inside and outside the boat. And that will be so that we've got a nice surface to adhere the new fiberglass to when we start building up the inside and outside to create that level 
layer so that the skin fitting from the bottom has a flush side to sit tight against so that it's not sitting pointing out the way it should be pointing straight down and the same with the top that the nut that tightens the, the through hole has a nice level surface to sit flush on so that's the plan at the moment and um, hopefully it will only take us a while and we'll get it finished this evening as in the preparation stuff what I'm gonna have to do is make a wedge a fiberglass wedge to make that flush fitting for the for the bottom so I've been racking my head as to how to do it and have a few ideas so um, we might just have to it might be a case of a bit of trial and error and just trying a few different methods to see what can give me something that can sit flush against the hull but leave a flat surface at the bottom so we'll, we'll do this part of it now anyway and we'll we'll cross that bridge a little bit later once we get this bit done but um yeah let's go on how we're going to get a wedge in there that's going to make the bottom um, flat. Yesterday I got down and where we removed the through hole the skin fitting for the paddle wheel speed sensor I used a flap wheel on a grinder 80 grit to sand away the gel coat and anti-foul take it back to the glass to get ready to construct something that will um, create a like a horizontal surface so it will allow the mounting for the new triducer to mount flush to the bottom so it's pointing straight down because of the, the depth um, sounder so I did that yesterday I'm going to try a few different methods to make this fiberglass wedge I'll call it to um, attach to the the hull so what I'm going to try is um, mixing up some epoxy packing it with um, some thickener and some milled glass fiber that should give us a, a good strong piece to to mount um, so what I'm going to do, I've kind of worked out the angle that I need so what I'm going to do is going to use something like this just an old carton and put the epoxy mix in it and then tilt it at the angle that I think is correct from my measurements let that harden and then peel it out of the box now that should give us a wedge shape strong fiberglass mold and with that then we might be able to epoxy it onto the hull 
reinforcing it with um, like chapstraw matting fiberglass um, and then drill our hole up through that so that's the plan that's what I'm here to do I've got the <laughs> the washboards in and the, the hatch closed so I'm dry and comfortable have a coffee somewhere so let's get cracking on with the, the jobs so this is what I've made is these two little contraptions so one's a big tub tilted at about an inch is what I've estimated the the wedge shape to be at its thickest and then tapering off um, I'm just using two different containers here both um, need to be wide enough you know to kind of be beyond the edge of the flange of the skin fitting so these two are big enough and it's just an experiment at this stage to see if what I'm doing will work out or if it, it's going to turn out crap so what I'm going to do now is just mix up the epoxy and I can't find the, the thickener so it'll just be epoxy and milled glass fibre but that'll be good that'll give it good strength it may not help with the flow I'm going to have to use more of the milled glass fibre because I don't have the thickened, thickener for the epoxy so it might not flow as well into a nice wedge it might be a bit lumpy and bumpy so like I say it's an experiment at this stage so fingers crossed it'll, it'll turn out okay and then we can maybe do the same thing but better next time we'll see For this next bit I do have a respirator on because this milled glass fibre is basically just powdered um, chapstraw matting or cut into tiny pieces so it's, it's just basically powdered fiberglass so I um, just don't want to take any risks. Uh, I would do this outside but it's so windy that it's, everything's just going to blow everywhere so I'm just going to be very careful, just little sprinkles at a time into the cup here and mix it up. So I think we'll give that a go. Interesting. Oh. Oh, it's just popping straight out. Looks good though, doesn't it? Yeah, so there's bubbles and stuff that's kind of rose, like rose to the surface. Yeah. So that's the rough end, but that's the end we'll be putting up onto the. Yeah, no, that looks really good. So I'll cut that. So that might do the entire one. Let's see what this one's like. Good job, babe. That one's a steeper curve, so they're both at different angles. 
Yeah. You can see. So, because it wasn't sure exactly. Well, at least you've got a bit of wiggle room then. A bit of wiggle room. So, I'm going to test them out. Let's do it. Let's do it. That was a good idea. was. Well done, me. So, just drew a circle around this wedge with a dot in the middle and that's just going to be a wee hole drill through there to make a guide hole for a bit of string to hold it up in place up against the hull. What about a wee stopper knot? A wee stopper knot? I don't need it. <laughs> I don't even need it. Knots. <laughs> if you can't tie knots, tie lots. But that is a figure of it. Okay, so. Well. Point that up. Sand this down actually a wee bit just to make sure it's a good, good, smooth surface. You got it? Okay, so just keep a nice hold of it there. But just to give it a wee bit of support on this side, I don't know if it will make much of a difference, but That must be lunch time. So we finished up here and waited to the next day after the epoxy had cured and we came down and decided then to drill out our through hull. So we just did this with a normal drill and a ho hole saw attachment. The epoxy was quite thick so it took about 20 minutes to actually get this bore out. As you can see here, a friend from the boat yard, Alan, had to have a go because drilling up at this angle for 20 minutes takes its toll on your shoulders. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this episode, give it a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already.
To support our channel and the production of these videos, consider supporting us on Patreon or visiting our coffee page. You can find links to these in our description. Thanks again for watching.